Big Iron, and you are watching Metal Gods TV. Introduce yourselves for the camera. All right, we're Pig Iron. This is Joe. Hi, uh, I'm Johnny. Hugh. I play bass. Ben, guitar. Ben. That's about it, really, for, uh, yeah. for the introduction. <laughs> 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 and why did you get caught with the name Pig Iron? Uh, well, that was that was kind of uh, Hugh's thing, really. It was uh, Hugh and Dave and Joe have known each other for a long time, but Hugh and Dave. Wanted to put together something, didn't you? I think uh, pig iron is this. Uh, you go to Wikipedia, it give you a full explanation. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of when they take iron out of the ground, it's um, in, in its kind of unrefined state. It's uh, called pig iron. And, uh, that's how you get a Wikipedia. Sorry, <laughs> stretch. I just oh, it's, it's, that, that coming out like, through an interview. It sounded cool. Go yeah, go to Wikipedia. <laughs> Yeah. I was done. I did look on Google the other night, and I, I fell asleep reading it. So, yeah. <laughs> it's all right, man. Yeah, I mean, it is a heavy metal, so I guess it's pretty appropriate. Yeah, so. but it's it's yeah. like in a primitive state, which I think. Yeah, so yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah, basically yeah. primitively yeah. heavy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much what but it fairly is. Fairly unrefined. Yeah. It's also it's a, mentioned uh, in Rock Island Line, which was originally by Lead Belly. Everybody thinks it was that English. Dude, but it wasn't. It's that uh, English Led, dude. Lead Belly. <laughs> so yeah, he goes. I got pig iron. I got old pig iron. So that's you know kind of where it was taken from originally, I guess. So that's it. Okay. And uh, what do you think to Grimsby then as a location for a rock venue? Uh, <laughs> uh, name by nature. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's day, definitely. Man. Um, man, it's great here. Shut up. Fantastic. <laughs> I didn't say anything yet. I said it's fantastic. We haven't, we, haven't we, haven't been, we haven't been for a sort of tour around the city yet, but you know, it's, I'm sure uh, it'll be a wicked gig. You know, but uh, the venue's very cool. Yeah, yeah, the venue's cool. Really cool. Owned by the Warlocks, we just found out it's the clubhouse for the Warlocks bikers and. Uh, yeah, we'll probably have a look around when we uh, get lost later on. <laughs> <laughs> when it's daylight. But yeah, uh, it seems, seems pretty cool, man. Well, you've also got good, good old Cleethorpes up the road. Yes. Which is, mm. which is uh, good street. <laughs> Does it have a good yeah, name? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cleethorpes Astoria. Uh, well, I don't know what it's got. It's got a beach. Cool. So there cool. You go. Yeah, basically, we were invited by Wasted to come and play here, so we're just mm. kind of... Uh,
game with you guys where you meet up and... Uh, yeah, I, I'll tell this story. You well, tell the story. Yeah, no, basically, I, uh, I was in my favorite record shop in Soho in London, and uh, I actually answered an advert for a singer. Singer required for stoner rock band, and I was into stoner rock at the time, and I was, I'd done a bit of singing in my time, mainly harmonica playing, but I just sort of started singing, and I thought, fuck it, why not, you know, I'd never answered an ad before, I wasn't really that confident as a singer or a frontman or anything like that, I just thought, fuck it, I'm going to do it. And then I went along to the audition, and uh, there was Hugh, and two other guys that are not here now, and, uh, you know, that lasted a bit of, a, that lasted a few rehearsals, didn't do any gigs or anything like that, but then... That sort of fell apart, and Hugh just said to me, "Oh, I know a drummer, Joe, and a, <laughs> and a guitar player, Dave, who's not here." And uh, and he said, "Let's just get together and jam." And that, that's basically how, how it all happened. Yeah. So if I hadn't answered the ad, God knows where we'd all be right now, but not right here, that's for sure. Brilliant. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. And what what do you say the main influences are on the band, musically, of course? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you know, we're all into, you know, all our, our rock and our metal and everything like that, you know, but I've, my parents brought me up on soul and blues and then I got into the rock stuff later on, so I taught myself how to play harmonica at about 12. And then, uh, so yeah, I'm kind of, spl I'm, I'm torn between the blues and, and the rock and the metal stuff. Fun and I just jazz. thought, well, it's kind of yeah. the same thing blues. to me, you know what I mean? It's got feeling, it's yeah. got depth, it's got soul and passion. So I, I just, I'm interested in kind of combining the two together. These guys, I can't really speak for them. Yeah, just this rock. Rock! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bringing them out. Well, the, the first uh, yeah, rock, I'm bringing them out. I've made four cassettes of songs I, I thought worked well, or people have not necessarily heard, you know, some time, Ted Nugent's songs <coughs> or MC5. This is about 2001, and people weren't, you know, going on and on about the MC5 back then. Yeah, what else, what else it was kind of like before it was all sort of trendy and before they had Motorhead t-shirts and Topshop and stuff yeah. like that. You know? Yeah. Mm. And we were just doing it because we liked it. And then, and then, a, lot of, a lot of people didn't realise they were covers because some of it was yeah. quite obscure, like Pentagram. Or, yeah, and um, there was, like, Hugh chose some really unusual songs. And, uh, like, he's coming by Scorpions. So <laughs> like, what was that? that <coughs> what was that Black to Come? Who did that? MC5. MC5. Mm. Yeah, but that wasn't MC5, was it? Wasn't yeah. it like their, their spin off band? Doing, or no, it's, like it's MC5, but it's them uh, trying to do Sun Ra. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you know, it was, we were just doing it because we liked the, the songs at the time and then gradually <coughs> started writing our own material and it just developed from there. Speaking of your own material, you've got a new album out, yeah? Certainly do, yeah. It was out at the end of October. Oh, and it's, yep. it's yeah, we distributed through Cargo, which is cool because they put it in the shops. And um, yeah, it's been selling really well. We're really pleased with how it's done. We're getting getting really good press for it and everything. So we're, we're really happy. Yeah. So go out and buy it, people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Make sure you buy it. To right, yeah, it's called "The Paths of Glory Lead But to the Grave," and uh, Hugh came up with that title. It's from a uh, poem, uh, I think. Yeah, it's uh, it's the copyright. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 1787. It's a poem yes. that he wrote in 1787. But uh, actually, the, the original title comes from a painting by Christopher Nevinson. It's anti-war painting yeah, from the First World right. War, with these two uh, soldiers face down in the mud, dead, and uh, which isn't quite poignant. So, yeah. The next album is going to be. Uh, yeah, a happy title. Making <laughs> yeah. 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 miserable. It's going to be Big Iron Three. Fairground. Let's see if we can make you cry just with the title. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I should explain. Ben, uh, we do have two guitar players in the band. Dave is not here because he's. Uh, Dave's on tour with Iron Maiden. Dave actually works for Iron Maiden's management company, so he is actually on tour with Iron Maiden right now, and uh, that's where he is. So we, we have Ben joined as our second guitar player early November or early October. Uh, anyway, so end of last yeah, year. So we, Ben's now officially our second guitar player. So he's 
doing a great doing doing a, yeah, yeah, currently the only guitar yeah, player. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, he's, Ben actually played our very first gig with us because Dave wasn't around. Yeah. Dave's not around a lot. <laughs> So, no, it won't be. Uh, <laughs> it's a good good job we have Ben really because he's doing an amazing job and uh, yeah, so it's going to be completely different from now on with writing and with the sound and the songs and everything. So, oh, you've already started writing stuff for the for the next record. Yeah, we've already mm -hmm. started coming out with ideas and yeah. riffs. And started demoing we were, stuff. Yeah, we were rehearsed, we're trying new things. That should be exciting. Joe's also very busy. <laughs> Drum, drummers, drummers and bass players, man, they're hard to find, you know, so uh, we're lucky we are a solid bass player. We've got Joe, but uh, <laughs> we've got Joe, but you know he's jo he's Joe's in demand. Like a, Joe's dressed like a 1950s sailor today, which is kind That's of. And he's actually. And you're in the docks. And he's so close to Grimsby Docks. I've even got a. a you got an anchor, an anchor on my teeth. Oh man! Oh, it's, it's, I think he's trying to make a quick getaway on one of the. Um, I think ships up the road. Yeah, if we if we get him a berry, lucky. Give you a berry, you'd you'd be like a. Oh, I need a pipe French. and a big uh, like yeah, white yeah. rum. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, some nice. onions. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, ladies go for the sailors. Oh, well, yeah. So do boys. <laughs> That's true. That's the only problem. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Ladies, ladies to me is actually Sorry about that. prison slang for. What's your name? <laughs> Bend over. Nice to meet you, Ben. <laughs> yeah, man, who put me Yeah. You can be gay and listen to rock music as well. Yes, you can. Yeah. That's Rob Alford. <laughs> You're fucking right, man. <laughs> call that, call that. Because <laughs> 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 he swore. Can we swear, by the way? Yeah. Oh, Do fuck. what you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. We're not, we're not restricted by the BBC. <laughs> no, that's right, man. Got that as well. <laughs> that's like it. We'll be oh, yeah. Am I, am, I ad <laughs> <laughs> am I advertising that? Uh, yeah, a bit of product placement. Yeah, well, anyway, really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, Let's get something in there that we actually want. It's you such, know what a, I mean? such a sweet, yes. sweet so taste. Got a guitar with them. We can yes. play the guitar. And uh, <laughs> oh, such a sweet. <laughs> or, uh, you know, I really love. I really love ho Honer harmonicas. Mm. They're the best. You know, Honer harmonicas. Uh, yeah. So. I check Rickenback. I reckon back oh. a day to uh, endorsement deal. <laughs> to Marvel. Marlboro. That's only to oh, racing yeah. cars, really. And shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the big iron racing car. <laughs> I'm the drumming. Yeah, we saw the pig iron mobile on the motorway on the way up here. Oh, so. awesome. A nice yes. old Ford Mustang. That was like, yeah, that'll do. We'll have one of those. And one of these. <laughs> as well, one of these. This is good. Yeah. This is very Thanks nice. for wasted for lending us the yeah, band. Yeah, yeah. Wasted, big, yeah. big plug to waste. And Chris, tour manager Chris, for letting us use. Big Chris, he's the man. He's, he's Thanks, big dude. <laughs>
So if you could put a label on your music like people like to try and do, what would you call it? Blues metal. That sounds weird. I think that's and it's odd. like, but it's going to be a new thing. Blues metal. Blues metal. Yeah. As you say that, turn off the red Everybody goes southern rock. Blue. Yeah. Everybody calls it <laughs> southern like rock. Down here. Everybody we're says we're southern rock, rock but I don't think we are southern rock. We're not. We're not stoner. We're not southern. I think we're just. Yeah. We're just. You know, trying to trying to put a bit of blues mm. into metal. I think or heavy mm. rock. You know, so well, that that's what, how it ends up coming out. But but the thing is, if you look at the traditions a bit, all it all originates back from the blues music anyway. So if anything, exactly. it's going heritage to where it all is yeah. coming from in the first place. Because if you look at early Judas Priest, blues band, yeah. Black Sabbath, blues yeah. band, you've got I mean, all these I, bands. I, I think Led Zeppelin yeah. should get a, a music of Black Origin award. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah but no, 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 that's not fair the because they ripped off as much England. English folk oh. music as they did blacks and dead black people. Yeah, but look at, I mean, look at their first, look like at their first like, album, but, man. But, but their first album is, is all Roy Harper and Davy Graham and all that shit. Yeah, they ripped off Black playing. Waterside, oh, Black well Mountainside. Hello, you know what I mean? It's all English folk. I'm not saying they were being white picky, summer. They're, they're that was all done off. before, and then they just changed the name and said that they wrote it. It's the music of blue, of black origin, isn't it? What? Music like, yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. Yeah, the Newcastle Brown is very blue. Do you know what time you'll be on? Uh, ten past nine. Ten past nine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not wasted. Nice. <laughs> not yet. We're not. <laughs> Does he think we're wasted? <laughs> Does he think we're wasted? Probably. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I mean. <laughs> he doesn't know what wasted looked like, does he? Well, that's true. That's the hazard of your wheel of air. That's wasted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, good. anyway, I know I'll people do like to put labels on the, on the whole thing, and so far it's been Southern Rock, and they all go. These guys sound like journalism. they're from Texas, but actually they're from the south of London. Oh, of London. That is. You'd never you know. know they're from Croydon. But no, yeah, we, you know, I'd rather not be known as Southern Rock, but because no, the, yeah. the thing is, as soon as you do that, you're going to be um, positively exposed for being fakes. And the thing is, we're not exactly. fakes. We're fan, you know, we're fans of the music, and yeah. we're just paying homage to what That's we do. Point, yeah. And um, you know, what we're all keenly interested, regardless of whether it's back in the '60s, going back to the noughties, as it's now, we do what we do. We love what we do. And we're going to continue what we do as well. And Don't use that word again. All the time. <laughs> the no, the, 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 the noughties. Because I'll get, I'll get now. Yes or no? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, he's right. You know that yeah, is true. We don't want to be uh, described as an English band trying to sound American or yeah. any of that shit. You know, because that, that's because you don't. Do you? No, I don't think we sound American. <laughs> I don't think we sound. American. I'm, I'm from Canada. And these guys are all from England, and you know, and they're saying we're trying to sound American. Like that didn't There's sound American or. Black Sabbath or Deep Purple. No, I know. No. There's, a, there's a lot of English heritage and uh, what the band is doing. Yeah, English just, heritage, yeah, if you're a sponsor. Us. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But no, no, I, I, I think what pissed me off with some of the reviews we got for this record is I think unless you make a record and it all sounds like Trivium or it all sounds like Caius or it all sounds like Queen or something. No, Queen's not a good example. I was listening to Night of the Opera the other day by, by Queen and. Um, <laughs> that record, they they would get slated if it was released today because they're mixing heavy metal with <coughs> rock. No, with but the darkness did it. They sound like me. Uh, yeah, but the darkness did kind of. Yeah, but that record isn't full of vaudeville thirty songs, so is it? Or no, but it's, <laughs> it's very jazz. operatic and very over the top. No, it sounds like Queen with a bit of rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> I think well, the yeah. thing with those though, they, they set out to be famous rather than to play the music. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. True. we didn't sell any substance. <laughs> <laughs> We don't give a fuck about it. But anyway, music. I mean, we don't, we're not, we don't want to come across sounding ungrateful for the press that we've been getting because we've been getting some no, amazing, been amazing yeah. press. And people actually really seem to like us. So. Oh, the classic we're, rock, we're and Kerrang and Mel Hammer, who the, you know, the three, three key magazines have been very supportive. Classic yep. rock, especially. Classic rock mm. are great, um, you know, they seem to like us a lot. I mean, so. they put the album in the number 13, I think, the best albums of 2005, which is amazing. I think we're higher than the Foo Fighters. Yep. Uh, and pretty Bruce amazing. And Bruce Springsteen. Yes. That's so <laughs> um, awesome. awesome. You, yeah. don't, you, don't, you can't buy press like that, and because we do everything ourselves, yeah. we don't have an agent, a manager, a, a label, we put the record out ourselves, we do everything ourselves, so to get press like that, it's amazing, you can't buy it. So. But I also think it's kind of respect it, because if we did it badly, then it would be like, what's the point? Mm. The fact that we, yeah, we do I think people like the fact that we do that. everything ourselves. Though. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's good though, because a lot of bands, they get managers, they get agents, get record deals, and they lose touch with the fans, and yeah. um, it's like, oh, can we? Can I've we see touched you? a no, lot no. of fans. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like it's it's, it's, it's kind of that it's that it's that <laughs> race to become the best. Always bring you to the gutter. It's that it's that vibe that everybody, 
you know, they're just all they really bothered about is getting massively famous and being the next big thing and all that kind of yeah. shit. So you know, to to not be like that is a it's nice to not have the pressure mm. to not you know to not want to do that kind of thing. So we're just we're just kind of doing it and putting it out and people like it. So if, as long as long as they like it, we'll just keep doing it. And and um, we have fun and we're yeah. all good friends. Oh, and if it, we didn't enjoy doing it, what's the point? Exactly. That's right. yeah, that's it's a labour of love. You got to do it you the, the record took yeah. eighteen months to produce because we're doing it ourselves and doing it in a slightly, I'd say, piecemeal fashion. And partly because we didn't want to put out something we, were, we felt was substandard. No, that's true. You know, we, we, what's the point in putting out something you know, that we weren't, uh, couldn't stand by? Because we don't need it, we don't need to do this. No. No. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm be, I'd rather be at home at the moment, playing with my cats, <laughs> drinking some very good wine. Cats is prison slang He was, he was actually quite calm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, He's not talking about <laughs> pussy. Yeah. Playing with my cats. <laughs> I mean, there's a bit of my tombstone, Hugh Gilmore, he should have got out less. You know? He was right, but, <laughs> but, you know, no disrespect to Wasted, but we're not getting paid for this tomorrow. You know, we're, we're not getting paid anything. Hmm. We're only making money off of t-shirts and CDs sales, yeah. and that's it. Buy so our t-shirts and CDs. If you anybody, can buy these from uh, you know, www. <laughs> the gigs, We've got to be good. Com. We've got to be good, because, you know, if, if people don't <laughs> like us, they're going to buy anything, which basically means we're paying out of our own pockets to fund the tour, so... You know, we've got we've got Grimsby tonight, Milton Keynes tomorrow night, and if we, if we don't sell any T-shirts, we don't fucking get any money, basically. Yeah, so, petrol you know. ain't cheap. No. Drugs don't buy themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know yeah, we will. And we don't take yeah, drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I go down the docks and scream for... Chang. <laughs> Chang. <laughs> Chang! What the hell is Isn't that Chang? weird Charlie African Chang. stuff that you chew? What's that Chang. shit called? No, Have you got some of that? It's supposed to be like heroin. Chang. You can buy it in Stratum. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, we're, doing, we're doing product in place for our first You chat. see them all, because you see all these African dudes hanging out in the streets spitting, you know, like... That's just chewing tobacco. And that's, no, it isn't. It's that, that stuff that you can buy, man. It's like, it's like heroin, and you chew it. It's like a twig, and you chew it, and it's like heroin. I thought it was just highly illegal. I thought it was a twiglet. Yeah, just Chang. a twiglet. Chang. No, it is something like saying? Chang. Though, that's something like that. Anyway, we're done. Anyway, move. Now, yeah, we'll move. Don't worry about your silver drugs. drugs. <laughs> Don't take drugs, kids. No, it's fine. So blues, <laughs> blues metal. Yeah, <laughs> metal. <laughs> well, I'd say we're more like. I can't believe we actually no. remembered what well, that question was. I'd say we're more metallic <laughs> blues, really. You know. Yeah. But there's always been a, a jazz funk element to our sound, yeah. which uh, progressive is very rarely jazz noticed because we hide We're it very actually well. doing the jazz yeah. odyssey tonight. Aren't no, we? not. What about the new romantic? This bitch is a bit reggae. <clears throat> don't oh, shut up. What about the neuromancer? One pint it's of good. lager and he's out of control. <laughs> so well, I think if somebody asks you what, what's your music like, I should say it's fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 It doesn't, doesn't really matter what it is, so does it yeah. really? You know, at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, I don't know. <coughs> it's a bit of a cliche, isn't it? Saying, yeah, I just like good music, man. Yeah. <laughs> you can't put pig iron in a box. <laughs> that's because I'm about 17 and a half stone. But not a box. To be honest, the, the bottom will fall out of the box when you left it. Because, I mean, unless you've got a really strong box. But. Wolf box iron. made of iron. Oh, yeah, an iron box. Yeah. <laughs> but you can make it out of pig iron because again, it needs to be refined oh, at quite a high pigs. temperature <laughs> for uh, the, the tensile quality. I'm gonna fucking love <laughs> that. Oh, yes, man. Oh, next the integrity of, of, of the box. Well, I've studied this in the, uh, the, the whole 
big sort of change in the uh, industrial revolution in 17. I can't hear. Next Can question. Somebody hear, <laughs> does somebody hear something? Change? If you need the full version of this post, like, go to Google. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it B? I can no, hear I wrote my, I did my master's degree. I wrote this, my thesis on this. Oh. <laughs> you did a thesis on figure. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, nobody's listening. Technology and warfare with the Industrial Revolution. Oh, right. The, the main change was when they stopped using uh, coke to smelt the metal and they started using coal, which would mean that less purities. Less purities in the metal. <laughs> 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 That's a <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sweet God, have you got another question? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a light heart tonight. If you could go out for a meal, what would you have? What choice? Uh, could have best anything. meal. Chicken! Johnny wants chicken! Fucking, I like. Chicken wings. Fried chicken wings. Chicken wings. My, my idea of a good time is, is when you go to a restaurant and get some chicken late at night, you know, when they're just about to close. Get some shrimp! And you ask for, like, you know, the four piece shrimp. meal and they give you ten pieces because it's closing. That's fucking good for me, man. <laughs> yeah. That's what I like. He likes a ten piece meal. <laughs> chicken all the way. Joe? Oh, mate. Uh, ooh. Um, cock. Oh, come on. It's not cock. cock. Not, You're gonna say like big fat cock. No. Um, oh fuck. I don't know. Uh, I'd go to a Thai Thai restaurant. That's what I'd do. Oh, with Coffee. the full massa massage after. Yes. Yeah. Thai Thai food. It's my favourite. Uh, probably, uh, probably Ruby Murray. Curry. Simple as that. So good curry. Yeah man. Bombay mix, curry, yeah. yeah. Always open. Anything Indian. Yeah, that's true. They're open. Always later. open. Yeah. Anytime yeah. Later, you're gonna get a curry. <laughs> Final question, which brings out some weird stuff at times. And have you got any uh, funny abilities that we don't know about? <laughs> abilities? Ooh, I'm there sure, is one. Somebody pointed out the other day. Has anyone got a ping pong ball? Because <laughs> <laughs> I can show you. <laughs> show you yeah, no. <laughs> the guy from EMF could put four lemons in his foreskin, apparently. <laughs> How the, yeah. how the fuck did you find out? I don't know how you find out about that, man. They, I don't think they just did too many drugs. because they, They're all dead now. <laughs> yeah. There's room for about three. Well, superheroes are actually essentially miserable, aren't they? Not happy. What do you mean? Well, Superman's not really happy. Why not? No, he's, he he's, it's a burden. He's super. No, but he can't Spider have... Spider powers are a burden. Hey, you're we're talking about Superman. He's invisible man. It's, it's a burden to be invisible. <laughs> So I don't know, man. Special um, powers. Yeah, but the, the thing they never show you in super in superhero movies is what they do in bed with their special powers. Well, the when they're with a woman, with a lady. Oh, I see. You know, the ladies. Like this guy. Just, when Lane, when, uh, when the guy who's made of fire, when he's at, when he's shagging a woman, does he suddenly go flame on in the middle of a passionate embrace? <laughs> That's embrace? dangerous, isn't it? I mean, you know, <laughs> it kind of burns. Ow, if you had a um, fire retard. Retarded. Condom. <laughs> fire retarded. He's fire yeah, retarded. Fire blanket. retarded. <laughs> Well, yeah, Superman man. does everything at the speed of light, so he's a bit, a bit well, forward. Well, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's a that's disappointment true. to the ladies. That means, yeah, but then he can just <laughs> fly around the world Superman. backwards and rewind it. No, and but like in the, second, in the second movie, he, he has sex and loses his powers. 
does he? He does, no, yes, he does. He yes, he does, yes. It's in the second <clears throat> film. It's improved by Richard Donner. He said he could use the powers. Okay, so yeah, special abilities. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> has anyone got any? I'd take 10 million <laughs> record sales. That'd be a bit good special ability. Uh, yeah, wait. but we haven't got. That's something, something you've got. Can you do, like, you know, can you balance Hype, on hyping the record your the one record? You bend your finger uh, the wrong way. Yeah, like. Uh, what was yeah. the question again? Sorry. I've got a hole in my can eye. Can you do anything? Any unusual talent? Oh, unusual talent. I've got a hole right here in my eye and I can blow air up. Um, it's disgusting. That's pretty weird. <laughs> I don't really know what the hell happened there. <laughs> How did you find that out? I don't know, man. I was just like. <laughs> Oh, that's about done! It freaks people out. It's, it's like, doing a melt listen, to listen, a they go, oh no! Yeah, yeah don't, don't, you've got um, quite a round of glass as well, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> that I have I? I've got a lot of coffee. Yeah. Um, coffee will do it too. I yeah. think. Is that a special talent? I don't know, yeah. It's not really a talent, it's more of a. Just an affliction. I, I think with our special talents are what you see us doing on exactly. stage. Yeah. I spent I Thursday hand painting say. 15 children Hugh, of Bodom Yeah, Hugh's, yeah. I could have done without. Hugh is a graphic designer by trade, so he's he's very talented as far as like designing. and He's designed album covers for a lot of very famous people, so that's Hugh's hidden talent, but uh, it's not really <coughs> that him. Is the t-shirt one of your design? Bloody yeah, it is. Uh, right. just, <laughs> yeah. Available from www.pigionnc.com. Yeah. In red and grey. Uh, and for ten pounds tonight. Here's the grey. Oh, yeah. oh, oh we were always dressing each other. Joe's taking We're not gay. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> it's in there. I'm so dirty. <laughs> no, a, you there is a nude lady on the back of it as well, which is, a, I think, a we got naked chicks. USP. Yeah, yeah, we, we, actually, like we did a survey on our MySpace page of what people wanted to see on our t-shirt, on our next t-shirt The ones that design. didn't have naked ladies. And they all said naked sell. chicks, so uh, we obliged kindly. There's another t-shirt we've got with the... Girl with a gun in her mouth over yeah. the toilet with a tits. Yeah, that's the first t-shirt. Yeah, the very first t-shirt where we have printed this lady yeah. hanging, hanging on her knees spread over a toilet with a gun with her knickers around her ankles and a guy stood over so okay, whenever I yeah. feel like offending someone I wear that to work <laughs> you know my, yeah. wear that to my boss and you know my boss kind of looks at the t-shirt and goes what the hell is that? Ew. Ew. I'm like, so it's good to wear when you want to offend someone. But uh, yeah, Naked Chicks. And he's was, he was the, the designer of everything. He's designed albums for Orange Goblin and Iron Maiden and Bruce Brick. Phil Bruce Collins. And, and, <laughs> a cult of Phil Collins. So he was um, very talented. And, White Snake, uh, doing a new White Snake record. Like I said, Joe plays in about 17 different bands. And Ben's yeah, a guitar teacher. My only talent, drums. Got many, many people around the Surrey area who uh, are teaching anything from Joe Nama Train and Slam of God. So it keeps me on my toes. That's yeah. good. And one of my so pupils, it. one of my pupils is actually Hi, on, we're allowed to on <laughs> the gifted list at Heathside School actually in Surrey. They actually made it to the gifted list after my lessons. Wow. But do they have special needs then? <laughs> <laughs> <Their guitar. laughs> yeah. A wheelchair and no no no. Are you gifted? Yeah, he's Maybe. special. He's 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 Bethel. <laughs> special needs. Bethel. They have special no. needs. No, we are yeah, so our, yeah, so our our talents are what you so what you see is what you get, I guess. Yeah. To sum up. Okay. <laughs> I'm monstrously handsome. Is that okay? Well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. I think we'll wrap it up at that, oh, lads. You, you look disappointed. I'm sorry. I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. I'm disappointed. I've got a dead leg. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel my buttocks. Hey. Oh, 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 yeah. That, that, that was a special turn. Camera. Missed it. Oh, oh, oh no, I'm not doing that. Look. Oh, no, <laughs> wasted. Take 16. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> How long have we got? Catch it in your nostril. Oh, it was, we a, it was in. Oh, it was in. Oh, you've missed it now, man. The feeling's gone. The yeah. moment's gone. <laughs> the moment's gone. <laughs> That's right. It's super impressive. See how talented really we are. Good yeah. Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks out. very much for uh, coming to a venue. Yeah. Thanks for. Then again, if Coke or Marlboro will sponsor me, <laughs> look look how good I look. Or Chang. No. <laughs> <laughs> if Chang want to sponsor Pig Iron. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, check us out. Ho hope you like us, and uh, we'll be on tour in a town near you soon. Hopefully. <laughs>